Welcome to this demo of SAP to Salesforce integration with Informatica Cloud. I'm going to show you how to push some new accounts, create an SAP, and push them into Salesforce. Now SAP is our system of record, and what that means is when new accounts get added, they need to be moved into Salesforce. So what we're doing here now is we're going to check for any new accounts that may have been added. And at this time, there aren't. We need to get them from SAP. Now, what I'm going to do here is to go into a pre-made task where the accounts are synchronized with SAP and Salesforce. So the first thing you do is obviously give it an easy to remember name and make sure you select the upsert function here. The reason you're doing this is because you want to add any new accounts from SAP into Salesforce. So once you're done with that, it's time to go into source so that you can select SAP as your source. If you do not have a connection set up, you click on new. And once you did that, you would then be able to select SAP as your source once you go to the drop down box under type. Once you finish establishing that connection, it's now time to select the respective objects with an SAP. So there's a number of different tables with an SAP you can uh, select. There's thousands of them. And you can use object browse search to narrow it down. In this case, obviously, we're trying to focus in on the customer master because we want to extract some new accounts. So once you're done with selecting the source, it's now time to select the target which in this case is Salesforce. And obviously the target object will be account in this case. And uh, once again, if you did not have a Salesforce connection set up, you would click on new and then uh, select Salesforce as your connection and enter in the appropriate credentials. What you've done here now is to define a data filter whereby the uh, sort L field within SAP is flagged with the SFDC flag and only those kinds of accounts with the SFDC flag are going to make it into Salesforce as a new account. So once we finish with that we go into the field mapping stage and drag and drop between SAP and Salesforce. After we've made sure that all our mappings are accurate we can then go forth to the next step. I'm not going to schedule, I'm just going to run it instantaneously. So we can go ahead and wait for the task to execute as it's performing the account synchronization between SAP and Salesforce. And once the task finishes executing, let's go back into Salesforce, hit the refresh button, and you can see there's three brand new accounts that have been brought in from SAP into Salesforce. Let's take a look at one of them. Walter Technologies. If you go to SAP, you can see that Walter Technologies was indeed one of the accounts brought in and had the search term SFDC as a flag. So the integration task would know to bring in this account. 